Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet the long wave stitch pattern. The long wave stitch pattern is a beginner friendly pattern and it only uses basic stitches like single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet and treble stitches. It is double sided meaning it looks good from both sides and so you can use it for all kinds of patterns and projects like scarves, shawls, blankets, cardigans, hats, toys, etc. This particular pattern uses the back loop only crochet technique and that leaves a beautiful wavy ridge on one side as you can see here. You can see it better if you use two or more colors like I've used here. This pattern, the long wave stitch pattern, it's suitable and it looks better if you use two or more colors. You can see the ridges better, more defined, and you can see the waves on the other side more defined. And it looks just beautiful. There you go. Okay. So today I'm going to show you how to crochet the long wave stitch pattern in one color. For this pattern you will need double knit yarn and a 4 mm crochet hook. This pattern requires multiples of 14 plus 4 chains. So for this tutorial I already I already chained 32 chains so you will need 14 plus 4 you can make it as long as you like okay so start with a single crochet in a third chain that counts as two single crochet make one more single crochet and now we're going to build up the wave with two half double crochet the next two chains two double crochet stitches in the next chains two chains and right at the top you will have three trebles so if you never made a treble before yarn over twice insert your hook in a chain yarn over and pull up a loop and now you'll have four yarn over draw through two loops yarn over draw to two lo through two loops again and you'll have two left yarn over and draw through the last two remaining loops and that's your treble make your trebles and all your stitches quite loose otherwise it will curl inwards so keep your tension relaxed okay two more trebles okay. two double crochet stitches in the next two chains two half double crochet stitches and finish with three single crochet and that's your first wave pattern finished now we're going to continue to repeat making these waves until the end of the chain Two half double crochet stitches, two double crochet stitches, and now right at the top of the wave, you'll make three trebles. Okay. 
and that is the top of your wave and now we're going to continue building downwards to double crochet stitches to half double crochet and three single crochet in the last three chains And this is how your waves look. You can pull them up a little bit, stretch them. There you go. And now we're gonna carry the yarn over to the other side with a single crochet row. Okay, turn around your work, chain one and single crochet in the same stitch and that counts as your first single crochet now single crochet all the way to the other side to the end of the row if you are using more than one color for this pattern this row first row and this row will be made in one color and then the next wave long wave pattern and the single crochet row will be made in the other color so you will have to do the single crochet row in the same color as the previous long wave pattern and that way the colors will look good Almost there. And single crochet in the last stitch. Okay. There you go. That is the back. Turn your work and now we're going to make another long wave stitch pattern. This time we have to start with a treble and I will show you how I make my treble so you won't have the space that occurs in between stitches when you just chain four. So let me show you if you chain four that counts like a treble and then you make a treble in the next follow in the following chain stitch you will have this space here you can see it just doesn't look right and now i will show you how i make the first treble in the row single crochet in the first stitch yeah. Single crochet in it. And then chain three. And this is your first treble. Now make a treble in the back loop. And you will see. There is no space between the chains. That looks so much better. Okay, so from this point on, all the long wave stitches are crocheted in the back loop only. The single crochet row, it's crocheted as usual, but this row, when you build the waves, it's crocheted in a back loop only. That means you will crochet, as you can see, the stitch has two loops, the front loop and the back loop. This is the front loop. 
and this is the back loop so you crochet in this loop only and that will leave a beautiful ridge okay so let's make the third treble in the back loop only so you insert your hook in the middle of the stitch and then underneath the back loop yarn over and pull up a loop and then you just crochet your stitch as usual don't mind about this gap here it will disappear as you crochet There you go. So first three trebles. Now a double crochet stitch, two double crochet stitches. So you got two, two half double crochet, and now three single, three single crochet in the next three stitches. And now you completed the half wave. And you can see how the ridge is forming. Okay, let's continue. We're starting a new wave. So two half double crochet. Two double crochet, three trebles right at the top of the wave, okay, so we need one more. And now we're gonna continue building the wave down with two double crochet, two half double crochet stitches in the next two stitches, half double crochet, half, all in a back loop. You can see the ridge again. Okay, and two single crochet stitches, and that's another wave created. And now we just have to make another half wave to complete the row. Two half double crochet stitches, two double crochet, and three trebles in the last three chains, back loop only. So that's the front loop. That is the back loop, this one. Okay. Okay, as you can see, how the ridge is formed and how the pattern stands to form. Just as a rule, if you have single crochet stitches at the bottom, you make trebles on top of them. For half double crochet, you double crochet. For the double crochet on the bottom, you make 
half double crochet at the top and if you have trebles on the bottom you make single crochet stitches on top and that's why you have three trebles and three single crochet stitches two half double crochet and two double crochet stitches and now the pattern just looks just like that So this pattern is really easy, all you have to do is crochet a row of long wave stitches and then a row of single crochet stitches. So just continue repeating the last two rows until you have the desired length. I'll show you again how it looks in two colors. Just continue a row of long wave stitches a row of single crochet, a row of long wave stitches, a row of single crochet stitches, and so on. And you can see the back. I'll also include a diagram at the end so you can see better how the pattern is worked up. And this is it. This is the long wave stitch. I hope you enjoyed my, my tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like to see more tutorials like this one and follow me on social media for more free crochet patterns and tutorials. I'll leave the links in the description. Happy crocheting!